you know, I mean, what's going on with the Ukraine at the moment, as with anything, where you could get some kind of mileage out of it and show how big and wonderful you are by helping out all the lefty lot and, you know, self-obsessed, sanctimonious types are jumping on the bandwagon trying to show how big and wonderful they are. I mean, you look at all these celebrities. Uh, they're having a race as to how many Ukrainian vet, uh, Ukrainian refugees are going to take into their homes. It's really quite sickening. <laughs> How do everybody? Welcome back to the channel for a Tuesday. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad. Not too bad. Sitting here in the sunshine, waiting my turn. Well, speaking of waiting turn, uh, Ukrainian people are waiting their turn to get the hell out of harm's way and find somewhere safe to sit until all this harm is over. I saw in the news earlier today that they're talking about allowing people to stay in the UK for the, up to three years. I'm not sure I get that that length of time is warranted or called for. Surely once this is over, they should be going back and help to rebuild their own country. But you know, who am I to say I'm just a taxi driver? But what gets me is all of these celebrities coming out of the woodwork who were saying, oh, we'll take a Ukraine refugee. No, I'll take two. Actually, I'm going to take six. You know, that seems to be what it, what it is at the moment, all these self-obsessed lefty types. I saw uh, on GB News, uh, Jim Davison was on there, and uh, he come out with a very valid point, and the way he said it kind of uh, did make me chuckle just a bit. Check this one out. Jim Davidson, what do you think about... Jim Davidson, what do you think about these celebrities who feel a need to politically virtue signal at these events? So you had Benedict Cumberbatch on the red carpet saying he hopes to take in a Ukrainian uh, refugee. I would say there's more chance of that happening than uh, his director, uh, Jane Campion, making a film that makes any sense. But, but yeah. what, what do you make of it when they take over these ceremonies to politically pontificate well it's, it's what people do it's their chance to get on the soapbox ask him if he'll take in a veteran that's homeless that's fought in many wars uh, for our hey. country no that that's not that's not lefty enough i mean i i don't mind all these guys they're all lefties they all get together and sit around and do the guardian crossword but they're not in the real world and this girl is she funny then i'm in the wrong job jonathan charlotte <laughs> will probably tell me that anyway Would you take in a homeless veteran? Hmm. Interesting question, isn't it? This problem has existed in this country for years. People who give up everything to fight and a lot of times pay the price for this country. They don't worry about them, but when the next big political thing comes along, they're all over it like flies on the proverbial. I don't know what you think of this, but I think Jim Davison actually has a very valid point, don't you? Let me know. Toodaloo.